Hi, my name is Irene Salas. I'm 23 years old. I was born and raised in Casa Grande. I've been saved for about four and a half years now. I've lived in Casa Grande my whole life. I was born and raised here. I grew up in a broken family. My dad was in and out of, in and out of my life for basically my whole life. We're kind of going through some hard times and my mom and dad decided to get away from Casa Grande. So they decided that they wanted to move to Chandler. And so we moved to Chandler thinking that they can get away from whatever problems we were running from. And within that year, we are just at our, our apartment and um, someone came knocking at our door. Some people from the Chandler Door Christian Center. My mom and dad ended up getting married there at the Chandler Church. After a year or so of being in Chandler and attending the church, um, we decided, my mom and dad decided to move back to Casa Grande. We started attending Victory Chapel, you know, because it's in the same fellowship as the Door Christian Center. So, so after a couple years of uh, attending Victory Chapel, um, my parents' relationship wasn't the best and we decided to leave. My mom and dad decided to divorce and after that, um, all the years of having my dad, you know, in and out of my life, I was like, wow, you know, like this time for real, he's not really going to be in our lives, you know, so it, it kind of, I think that's when things started to change for me, you know. That's when I started to lean more on my friends, you know, I started to drink, I started to party, you know, I started to distance myself from my family, and, um, Around, I want to say, my 19th birthday. To celebrate, me and a couple of my other girlfriends, we had lunch together and we decided that we wanted to go um, to Chandler and get some, you know, ice cream or something. And so we were driving on the highway and I had three of my friends in the back and one in the passenger seat. And we were driving on our way there um, we had GPS on and I asked my friend like, Hey, like when's the next exit? Like, is it coming up? And she's like, Oh, you're going to pass it. And so as soon as she said that, like I, I turned my wheel really hard trying to make sure that I make the exit and not realizing that the, the exit I was exiting on had a, a, a really tight curve that you would have to be going only 25 miles an hour and I was going at least 75 miles or above an hour. We flipped the car and I want to say it flipped about one maybe two times and um, looking back at, on that picture you know I didn't realize how bad it was at the time I was just in shock like you know I didn't even know what happened and all of my friends were just in shock. After the accident, you know, I realized a lot of things. I realized what really was important in life, and I realized who was there for me. So after contemplating and thinking about all of that stuff, like of the reality that I could have went to hell, um, I always, I remembered that, you know, Victory Chapel, you know, in Casa Grande. I remembered going there as a kid, and I remember, you know, just, the people and the love of God that I felt as a kid. Um, so I thought, you know, it's still there, why not go? Pastor Diego was preaching about how God is our one true love, you know, like if we're backslidden and hard, like to come back to him. He's the only one that can fulfill anything that you're missing in your life. So I gave my life to God that day and um, Becca, my cousin, she prayed for me and she led me into a sinner's prayer and ever since then my life has completely changed. That's when I started to press into ministry, you know, I began rapping and it just did something in me, you know, just being able to minister in that way to people in that ministry and knowing that it touched people's lives and lives and hearts that 
it just did something in me and after that you know after fully surrendering my life to God and giving him not just pieces of me but all of me God blessed me you know tremendously he blessed me with a husband and in 2017 we got married and we've been married for three years now so after getting married um and god blessing me with a godly husband who loves god and serves god just as much as i, I would have never pictured my life to be what it is at 23 years old um it doesn't matter how old you are, God can use you. It's never too late. Now that I look back, I would think, you know, God would never use me. You know, God would never bless me with a husband. God would never, you know, I didn't deserve all of, all those things, yet God blessed me tremendously with them, you know, because God is a, a gracious God and he's a loving God and he wants nothing but the best for us. So if you, uh, if anybody's watching this right now and you're, you grew up in church as a kid or you've heard about God in some kind of way, you know, and you're backslidden or you're, you know, you're fighting God right now. The advice I can give you right now is to fully surrender your life to God. You know, if you're feeling empty, you're feeling broken, you're feeling like there's no hope for your life, that God can't change your situation. I want to tell you right now that God completely, God can completely change your life just like he did mine. There is hope and there is restoration and there is a future. My name is Irene Salas and it's because of Jesus Christ that I live again.